Hey guys, so for this video I'll be doing a quick haul, um, which is something that I purchased recently, not too long ago, I think maximum a week ago. It arrived actually early this week. Um, I bought these albums from Mason, he's a good friend of mine here on YouTube. Um, if you're not familiar with his channel, I highly, highly recommend checking out his videos. Um, his channel name is mbkpop1997. And um, he is um, selling some of his albums. I don't know if he's still selling some of them, uh, but definitely check his out, check out his channel and um, if you can find his Twitter as well. Um, he is uh, trying to sell some of his albums, so I decided to help him out um, because some of these I either didn't get <laughs> uh, or I was planning to get like for a long time and I just haven't really gotten around to it um for this video i'm like cramming things as well so i'll be talking about um obviously the albums in my collection stuff in a little bit of my i don't know my current state with keeping up with k-pop and all of that so yes please check out mason's channel he makes great videos um yeah, when we if you like my videos, you're probably going to like his because we like the same <laughs> groups. Uh, and also, uh, for those who are also participating in the Secret Santa, I am so sorry I haven't uploaded any tag videos yet. I really want to make them. I'm probably going to do uh, a bunch of them like during a week where I'm not that busy because actually I am going to study for an exam after I make this video. I just wanted to, uh, you know escape from all the stress you know talk about something that you know doesn't make me <laughs> stressed uh yeah but i will I, I will try to uh make all the tags as soon as i can i just have been really busy and i want to answer the questions like at least as best as i can um but i really want to do them i've just been really really busy every single week this semester has been really just crazy so yes, yeah, so let's get started. I was just kind of like explaining what this video is going to be about because it's not just a haul. Alright, so the first thing that I have is AOA's fifth mini album, Bingo Bangle. Bangle. Um, this is the play version, I think. Um, I prefer this picture. Um, I don't like the red tint with, or I don't know how else you would call it. On the photos on the other one, um, this is the first comeback without Choa. I kind of talked about this song being weird on one of my videos. By weird, I mean the title track. Um, it's not my favorite AOA songs, but it AOA song, but it does stick into it sticks in my head all the time if I ever like think of it. <laughs> and it did pretty well on the charts, so. You know, that says something that is, they still have some potential to, you know, make an impact in the K-pop industry. Um, this packaging is actually really strange. Um, it's like really puffy. Um, yeah. So here is the back. You get six, strong, six songs. There's two versions. And here's the spine. Yeah. Uh, and here is the disc. So, it's blue. I don't like that it is, um, what's it called? And this slip thing, but hey, I do like this packaging though. Aside from that, this is, um, good packaging in my opinion. It's not too bad. And I know, it feels... It's it feels um like stuffy like I don't know how else to describe it. Then I got um, B two B's brother act, their second studio album. Made me to get that. I almost bought this a couple months back, um, but yeah. Uh, and I did buy their new mini album they released this year. It just hasn't arrived. Um, if I hadn't ordered it before, I would have bought it from Mason. So. Yeah, and then I got an album. So these two were so fairly recent because this was released last year. This was released this year. And then I got something that I wanted to get for the longest time, which was Girls Day's um, repackaged album, Female President. 
Um, and this album is one of my favorite um, Girls Days album. It's just a big compilation of their best songs. Um, the concept, everything about this comeback. Um, just This was the evolution of Girls Day. Um, just kind of like a quick little um, chat, I guess. Um, Girls Day... Um, they were flopping at first, but then they had a really good, um, redemption with their song, Never Last Forever, and, uh, what was that song? Twinkle Twinkle did really well. Uh, the single sold well digitally, it's just that they didn't, like, break out right away, and yes, so when, once they did their song, Expectation, they got a, a lot of attention, and then Female President is what um, kind of solidified them as, you know, a top girl group at the time, and they had a really good run from Expectation to Darling. Like, those comebacks were probably, like, their heyday. Uh, <laughs> they haven't flopped since then, um, but they just haven't you know, I'll peak their peak, and it's really difficult to do that anyway, especially if you're a girl group, but, um, female president, um, in my opinion, is, like, one of their best songs, I just really like the emphasis on, you know, female empowerment, and just how the song's structured, it's, you know, it, it gets you pumped up, I don't know, <laughs> and obviously, the other title track, Expectations, really good. And this album overall is one of the best ones I've got to listen to. And then last, I got an album that m most of you guys probably never heard of. Uh, but this is Jaya. Um, she's the leader of the Brenner Girls. This is an album I've been meaning to get for the longest time. And that's when I saw that he was selling, when Mason was selling his album, um, these albums. Um, and I saw Brian Eye Girls, I was like, oh my gosh, hopefully the, um, there's something I, I am missing, so. And this was this. <coughs> um, my Brian Eye Girls collection is almost completed. Uh, I'm still missing one of the, like, a few little things that are not necessarily in their main discography that I want to really, really want to get. And that's just me meaning, being, like very detailed about collecting Brown Girls because they have a decent amount of stuff but they don't have a huge load like Girls Generation, Kata, Tiara which are like um my other ult ultimate groups and yeah so uh, Brown Girls is my third favorite K-pop group of all time um Kain is one of is one of my ultimate biases along with Jessica and Jokwon um Yes, so I've been meaning to get this for a really long time. It's out of print now. Um, you can still get it at a decent price. Uh, I just didn't get it right away because it wasn't on the top of my list. Like, I didn't necessarily... I wasn't necessarily obsessed with this release. Um, it, it is good, but it just didn't hit it out of the park. Like, for example... Um, Narsha and Midios and Kinds did for me. Um, like, I think Narsha needs another album on her own. Like, her, she, she was the first one to do a solo. Uh, and BD Papa, uh, Papa, I forgot what it was called. It's, it has a really funny name. And then Mamma Mia, ugh, those two songs are really good. And then we had Medio. I really liked her. Actually, her album was pretty good as well. I did an unboxing and a review of that one if you want to check it out. I'll probably do an updated collection video for the Brian Eye Girls probably next year. If I do end up getting uh, the few things that I am missing from them. Uh, it's not a lot. It's probably like three or four. Like three, maximum four albums. I do hope that they release another full-length album. Uh, as soon as possible, obviously, and yes, so that's kind of like my uh, little rant about these. I've been keeping up with AOA, fortunately, missing one album from them, which is on its way, uh, and yes, so kind of like I said in the beginning of this video, um, 
I've been really busy. So I am in, I'm a university student, so <laughs> it's been getting really crazy this semester and I am I have been pretty stressed if I've been completely honest. So uh just I don't know. <laughs> but at the same time, it's not that I just dislike K-pop now. I'm just like getting very disinterested in it. Uh, doesn't mean I'm not a K-pop fan anymore, but I'm not into it as a, as much as I was, for example, eight years ago. Like, eight years ago, you, you would, like, you would see me, like, like, always listening to K-pop music, like, every single day. Um, I still listen to it, but it's not that... Uh, intense anymore um, and obviously and I mentioned this um, multiple times on my channel I guess it's kind of become really redundant but a lot of my groups either disbanded or they don't promote anymore or they promote like every two years uh, so I'm only looking forward to like those groups whenever they come back so it's not like I don't you know I d really have very few things to look forward to like this year it's been good for me um in terms of the groups that i like so i got a taeon a yuri a girls generation subunit tiffany got her english debut thing uh we got shiny i got an infinite so i there's still a lot of groups that i do collect um but yes i i don't know i i and i guess i'm you know it comes with growing up because K mainly targets you know, the teen demographic, and, you know, I am now in my early 20s, so, you know, but I, I do still keep up with my favorites, uh, so that's, like, one thing I, 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 that's one thing I don't think I'll ever kind of leave behind, I guess, um, but even when, like, groups that I used to, like, check out, you know, every, every now and then, like, I don't even listen to the music video. Like, I, I didn't even watch the music video or the songs because it's like, I like, don't have time for this. Not going to buy it. Like, that's how bad it is. But, yeah, I, that's just how it's been going on. Um, as for collection, obviously, like I always say, I try to get as, uh, the new releases from the groups that I support. Um, and if I do forget it, I try to get it, like, as soon as I can. Like, that's that's the case with this and then just missing and then just filling in holes which will be like these two um it's like most of my videos are like that we're always like that anyway it's like very old stuff with fairly recent albums and i'm i'll try not to buy as much as well um because i'm trying to save up because next year i am doing another study abroad <laughs> so um i gotta save up money to uh, for my traveling, um, but it is really tempting, especially when you see a K-pop album for a really good price, um, and when I saw Mason needed some help selling the things, you know, I just decided to get these, because I knew I was going to get these anyways, um, especially, like, this one is one that was on the top of my list, uh, and these two were, like, in there, because I do have the regular edition for this album, and they only added the female president song, so I was debating on getting this, but I was just like, you know, let's just get it now. Uh, so, yes, uh, if you guys have any questions, please comment down below, um, and or video request, uh, upcoming videos. I did order a couple albums. They're on this way. I, I am participating in the Secret Santa, so there will be a secret, like the revealing of who I got. I don't know. I haven't got it yet. Uh, that's like very soon though. I'll try to do the tags for the Secret Santa as soon as I can as well. So <laughs> sorry about that. Um, and yes, I hope everyone's having a good day. Um, great week. And that if you're right now in that exam period, like I am right now, good luck. Like, <laughs> um, and don't stress about it too much. Um, that's kind of like my best advice. Yeah, it's been pretty, pretty, really crazy. Um, I guess I don't want to talk too much about it because it's not that interesting and not keep up related. But for those who are wondering if 
um, about my life in general or why I haven't uploaded as much, that's the reason why. But yes, if you haven't heard any of these albums, check them out. I highly recommend listening to the Grossly album. If I had to pick a favorite overall, it would be that one. Um, if you like ballad, ballad or mellow, really acoustic type of songs, Jaya and B2B and this is like a mix of like a bunch of things. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I might do a review for these two. Uh, like an unboxing and kind of talking about the album in general um, but that will be later on when I have more time okay guys bye